Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ja, Ja Big Brett's my channel name. If you've been here before, good to see you again, welcome back. And if you're new here, I hope you like what you see in my video and subscribe. Tonight I'm going to make some stuffed Italian squash. Some people call it zucchini squash, others call it Italian squash. I grew up with it being called zucchini squash. But we're gonna make some stuffed squash this evening. And um, I've got all my ingredients laid out. For those of you who know me on my videos that you've watched, I have everything laid out prior so I don't have to move around too much when I'm cooking. And I'm also a food prepper. So everything I use in my kitchen is always fresh. I prep my food, freeze it, so I always have it ready to use, including sauces. So as I cook for you this evening, I'm gonna stuff my squash with a mixture of some Italian sausage and some ground turkey together, which gives it a nice snap. I've got my vegetables. I'm reusing vegetables that I've already used, meaning I've used half of them, rest of them are here, leftovers that I'm gonna use in my squash, and I don't wanna throw vegetables away, anything away really. So I'm gonna use my leftover vegetables. I've got some breadcrumbs that I, of course, make myself, and I'm gonna put those in as filler. I often use rice in my squash, but I don't have any at the house, so I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs as a filler. I have my sauce, my cheese, and let's get started here in cutting up the So I've already prepped my squash and I've washed them, they're ready to go. So let's get uh, them cut in half. I like to cut the ends off at this end at least. So let me cut this in half so we can take the insides out and use them to cook with. So we'll cut that open. And then I'll get this cut in a moment to get the filling out of there. I'll cut this again in half. I don't know if I want to use two or three squash. I might just use two, which is plenty for dinner. And the third one, I'll freeze and prep it for later. So let's get the insides out of this. I'm going to use a fork to scrape the insides out. At least tear it up a bit. You wanna make the inside of your spaghetti squash or your uh, Italian squash like a boat. So you wanna get all this insides scraped out of there. So you can put it with your mixture of ground meat and vegetables and then get it right back in for cooking. So let's get all this scraped out. And as I stated, I like to use a fork when I scrape this to score it. It just helps get it out of the zucchini itself easier and it breaks up the zucchini for me which makes it mix well with all the other ingredients now when you scrape this out you want to make sure that you don't scrape the walls of the zucchini down so thin that it doesn't hold the filling so i always like to leave just a little bit of structure on the sides so when i fill this up it is uh, sturdy enough to hold all the ingredients without collapsing. You can eat it once it's cooked, but I just wanna make sure the walls stay sturdy. So I've got my squash all scraped out and ready to use. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to mix up my meats. So I do have some ground turkey here that I'm going to use right here, and it was frozen. I'm gonna use a little knife to kinda cut that up just a little bit. To Get it broken up. As you can see, that's all I'm doing inside this bowl. I had this in the freezer as well, prepped and frozen in a vacuum sealed bag. And I took it out a few hours ago to thaw so that I could use it to season. So we've got that all broken up. Next thing I want to do is get the Italian sausage cut up a bit so I too can get it broken up and mixed in with the ground turkey. And as you can see with the Italian sausage, or any link sausage, that the outer skin, if these aren't frozen, really allows you to break it up and get this sausage out of there really nicely, as you can see here. So it takes it all out for me, breaks it up very nice. And I'm just using my fork and my knife to kind of break that sausage up a little bit. Very nice, we'll get that put in. Now let me get this cutting board out of here because it's got meat, debris, and I'll be back with another cutting board for my vegetables. So I've got my larger cutting board, which we will use for the vegetables. And as you can see, I've got four nice zucchini boats here that I'm gonna be able to stuff 
with the meat and the other vegetables that I'm gonna use. So I've got a leftover bell pepper from another recipe that I cooked yesterday. And I'm going to use that in with the zucchini as well. So I'm just gonna cut this core out. There we go. Take some of that vein out of there and do the same on the other half. Just score it, get it off there. And I'm ready to cut these up. There we go, lay them on top of each other. And here we go. Let's try this one. There we are. Very nice, those cut up nicely. I like red bell peppers. One, I don't think they're as tough and chewy as the green bell pepper, which I don't care for. And this also, I think, gives a really nice color to any recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in with the meat mixture. Get that in there. There we are. And now, let's get the onion cut. I also had a large onion like this. What I have left is about a little over a fourth. And that's all I need for this recipe. So we're gonna cut up the rest of this onion as well and get it added into my recipe. Again, we're doing a stuffed Italian sausage with Italian squash, or some people call it zucchini. Just gonna get the onion chopped up nicely. Very nice. And let's get that in there with the rest of it. There we are. I have a leftover tomato, which I'm gonna use. There we are. Get that sliced up. here and let's get that in our bowl perfect that. next thing we have left is I have some carrots again I buy these carrots fresh and then I julienne cut them by hand I pre-cook them then I freeze them in zip lock air vacuum bags so I have fresh carrots to use whenever I want and I have some left over from a previous recipe from yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those used up today. I don't buy any canned vegetables. It's probably been 35 years since I purchased a can of vegetables. One, I don't like all the salts. Two, I don't like all the preservative chemicals they put in them. So I just don't eat them and I haven't for years. I bought a six pound bag of carrots fresh at the supermarket for $4. And then I pre-cut Julian style, pre-cooked and froze them in individual serving bags like this, all for under $5. So we've got this vegetable in there. And now let's put in the squash. I'm gonna add that in there. And let me get this all mixed up to make. If you've never tried it before, I encourage you to try it. So, let me get some spices in here and let's get this mixed. There we go. So I'm gonna use my big spoon to mix this up. Just gonna stir it all together. Like I said, if I had rice, I would have pre-cooked some rice and put that in with this as well. Rice is just kind of a nice filler, but I do have some leftover bread crumbs. So I'm gonna use that. Look how nice that looks. All mixes up very, very lovely. All right, let me get some spices in there. I usually cook with Lowry's quite often. I like the flavor. So I'm gonna get some Lowry salt in there. And I like garlic powder. I like fresh garlic, I just don't have any. So in goes fresh, excuse me, garlic powder. And I've got some celery salt, or this is that, yes, yeah, celery salt, which I also like. 
So let's get some of that in there. And as you can see, I cook just by sprinkles. And I am gonna put in some Italian seasoning. Not a lot, but I do like Italian seasoning. So let's get some of that in there, perfect. Let's get that stirred together. It already smells good. Mix it up very nicely. See, it's really a fast, easy, quick recipe. Anyone can make this, and it is simple to do, as you saw. We really like this. I make this quite often. Stuffed squash. Perfect. Makes it very nice. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to put in some of the tomato sauce that I make. I make my tomato sauce from scratch. I buy fresh tomatoes, I cut them up, and I add fresh garlic, fresh onion, and spices, and then I boil it in a pan to get it cooked down. Once it's all cooked down, I then put it in my food processor, and I juice it. And then I always have, as you see here, a tomato sauce to work with. Very nice, it smells good too. I'm not gonna need it all. So the rest of this, I'm gonna go, go ahead, close it back up now in a Ziploc baggie and refreeze that for another time. So let's get that mixed up in there and see if I have enough or if I need more. Now you can have the option, if you choose to, to put egg in there or not. The egg kind of solidifies it like when you cook a cake or a pie or anything else. It kind of holds things together. So I've got my egg. Let's get that put in there. There we are. I also like to use, if I have it in the house, sour cream. And I do have some sour cream left and I'm gonna put some of that in there because it's gonna give it a nice little zest. Look at that, just a dollop of sour cream. And let's get that all stirred together. Break the egg. And I'm gonna use a fork this time to mix it. So it kind of filters through the fork prongs to get it thoroughly mixed. I'm afraid if I use my spoon, it'll just stick to the spoon and I don't want that to happen. Look at how nice that is. Isn't that nice? Making a little bit of a mess here on the cutting board, I'm sorry. But there we go. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add the um, breadcrumbs that I have left. It's about a half a cup, so we're gonna put that in. And I also have some cheddar cheese I like. So I'm gonna put in some cheddar cheese. This is really gonna be yummy. So in that goes, let's get it all stirred up. I'm gonna use my fork, which pushes everything down in there, mixes it nicely. I don't eat bread, but I do buy it from time to time. And then I leave it set out till it gets hard, not moldy, but hard. And then what I do is I break it up, put it in my food processor into crumbs. Sometimes I add Italian seasoning to, to it. Most of the time I don't, because I want to use it for different recipes and it's a nice filler. So I then put it in bags and I freeze it. So there we go. As you can see, that's all ready to go in the oven. So let's get our squash filled. I've preheated my oven to 375 and I'm gonna use a deep, pan for cooking. The reason I like the deep pan is if there's any moisture, it'll help keep it trapped in the pan. And the heat from the pan will help it cook faster because it's deep. So I'm gonna line it with tin foil, which makes cleanup easy. And I've taken out enough tin foil so I can line the pan and also have enough to flip over the top. So we have four pieces here that we're gonna lay in there. And then let's get those filled up. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and the mixture and fill these babies up. And then we'll get them in the oven. And I like to put a fair amount in there I don't like to cheat anybody, so let's fill them up. And yes, I fill them up over the top. The reason for that 
is because it is gonna cook down slightly, the pork and the ground turkey, the pork sausage and the ground turkey mixture. So I've got those filled up nice and full, as you can see. I'll show you up closer here in a moment. I'm just gonna fill them up. Perfect. And there's a little left, and that I will freeze. So let me show you this here. So I filled those up very nice, up over the top. Now what I think I'll do is sprinkle some cheese on them as well. So let's do that. I always keep cheese in the freezer, frozen. I buy it when it's on sale. These were on sale for 97 cents a pack. Limit four. So I got four frozen. And I want cheese, just take them out of the freezer and I have cheese ready at my availability to use. The rest of it, I'll put right back in the freezer. So let's get the cheese on top, like so. Look at that, nice. And I'm also gonna add a little water to the bottom of the pan. So adding water, I'm only gonna add a little. I'm not gonna add a lot because I don't want this to sit in water, but I've added just enough to where it's got some dampness down in there. So moisture will help keep this closed up, or will help keep it cooked nicely by keeping moisture in there. And we'll close them up like so. And those will go in the oven for 35 minutes. Once they come out of the oven, They'll be ready to eat after we let them cool. So 35 minutes in the oven, then I'll uncover it and let it cook for another 10. So let's get this over in the oven, shall we? 35 minutes, here we go. Set my timer. So it's been 45 minutes since we put it in the oven. I, at 30 minutes, opened up the tin foil to brown it. So let's take it out of the oven and see what it looks like. It's fun, it's finished. Now it looks great. Take a look at that. So let's get it served. And I think I'll sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on top. Take a bite of that and see what that tastes like. So look how wonderful that looks right there. Isn't that great? Let's take a bite. It's awfully hot. Wonderful ingredients. Let's give it a try. Once again, that's very, very good. Simple recipe to make. Takes about 45 minutes to bake, 10 minutes to prepare. So under an hour, you can have a delicious, 
zucchini stuffed Italian squash dinner. Give it a try, see what you think. Leave me your comments, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.